Welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm not Derek, and I'm not Cinnamon. I'm Patrick Lim, founding partner with Highfield Trucking. Derek and Cinnamon were kind enough to come down to Columbus and take a tour of one of our beautiful Panther trucks. I hope you enjoy this tour. Before we continue with the tour, we just wanted to let you know that this truck is available. So, if you are interested in doing what we do and driving one of these trucks for a living, reach out to Highfield Trucking at the link and phone number in the video description. Okay, back to live action. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I do like that. And you even have a thing on the side, because usually with the up and down ones, you only have like the two places you can put it. So you can even utilize the door. That's awesome. And then, ooh, sorry. I like it. And I like how it looks very homey too. You know what I mean? That's all. You got a drawer here. There's more space. Then with the, the other big ones too. You have a couple different options. This is so nice. <laughs> I like this way better. <laughs> Colors are amazing. See the yeah, colors. it is. Like, And even the curtains have the same design as the as the back and the cushions and everything. So this being a bolt, it's gonna have the really deep cupboards and stuff. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, and then it has a net for the, when the, you put it up there for when uh, <laughs> someone's sleeping and then the other one's driving down the road. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice and long. Sorry. That, Yay, and then you can hang up stuff probably. Yeah, it has the bar. You can see that over here. Hang up stuff. I like that there's carpet in there and stuff too. And then you got a knuckle over here. I'd probably even put like a towel down and then put my shoes in there. You know what I mean? It'd be great, especially during the winter time. But only if you're not driving. <laughs> so, okay, and then you got, does this one open or? Yeah. Okay. Woo! It's a big long drawer. Yeah. That's looking awesome. And you got a couple of these over here. Oh, this is great. Got a lot of room under here. But of course, when you store your food, you're going to want to put it up there. Because I'm sure with the door being over here, it might, you know, if it's hot outside, it might heat your food up. But you got all your controls over here. So here's where your water pump is. So you have the sink over here, which is awesome. So you hit that puppy on and then you can run the sink for your water. Rope light, ooh, is it at the, yeah. It has this underneath, so then um, if you're not trying to put on like the overhead light and everything, it lights up what you need over here. You got the inverter over here. Here's your APU, it's a Dynasis, which is new on the market, is what he said. How much quieter is it than our uh, carrier? Yeah, I, I'd rather be parked beside this yeah, <laughs> than ours. Ours sounds like an old car ready to break down. But it's not a touch screen, because I was like going like this, and he's like, no, <laughs> there's buttons down here for that. Uh, and then you have the AC over here, and then you have your fan, so if you wanted to... For the sleeper going down the road. Yep, so then you could put it on cold or hot. Yeah, so, and then you put it in the middle to turn it off. And then you got your lights over here, so you have the... Uh, ceiling lights, oh, which is these over here, <laughs> that are over, over the... Oh, so it's, it's mislabeled. Wow, that's your puck lights, actually. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then you have uh, the ones up above, which will be uh, over here. It's closer to you, to the sleeper. So, like, when you come in, you can turn those on. Look at these cupboards, too. Oh, I remember these cupboards. They're nice. And this is... Ooh, you even have room up here too. So it's open this much, but it's even taller, so you can kind of, you know, put stuff in there. And it'll kind of kind of acts as a stopper, like if you're, you know what I mean? Then you have some storage over here. Right above your microwave. And this uh this is a convection microwave oven and grill, so it has the rack on here. So if you wanted to use it like as an oven, you can. 
which is awesome. And all these trucks, um, you guys have like keep the manuals and everything with them. So if somebody, so if you have any yes. questions on like how to use it, you can look it up if you're not familiar with how to use those. Does this have a, yep, has lights under here too. I'll finish with the cupboards. I like that you got a handle over here, that's nice. <laughs> Probably when you're getting down. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And you've got a cupboard over here too. So you got space over here and you got some space over here too. And uh, something else I was looking at, um, not all the trucks are gonna have um, the bunk or the bunk beds. Um, if it doesn't have the bunk bed, it'll have um, some cupboard space up here. This one does have the bunk bed up here too. Um, and then I'm gonna say place this okay. you. <laughs> this is Vince, by the way. <laughs> so over here you actually have, um, um, when you unsnap this over here, it opens up into like a, a nook, you know, so you have some cupboard space over there. So I got LASIK surgery, so I don't need it anymore. But if you are someone who wears glasses and you don't want to lose them, if you're blind as a vet, <laughs> like if they fall down the corner, or like the crack of the bed, but you can put books in here or anything you need, like right before you go to sleep and stuff, um, which is awesome. There's a bed over here. You got another cupboard over here. Wasn't sure if I showed that one yet or not. And then you got another handle too, so just depending on which end you put your your face at and everything. So, and then I'm actually gonna hop back over here real quick and show you guys. This actually has a window over here, which is awesome. It definitely makes you feel more at home um, because I mean, who likes to do dishes or cook, you know, without you know just looking at a wall? So I'm very jealous of this. <laughs> But so there's even a window here and that'll help um, also just if you want some fresh air and you're standing in the in the sleeper there's a um, is it a DVD player no uh, it's direct TV oh direct TV yeah, so we, we provide in motion direct TV uh, oh, with a Sunday awesome. NFL ticket as well uh, to all the trucks so can they watch that going down the highway they can watch that going down the highway yeah there's a switch in the back wall there uh, this is a wine guard up there uh, that's the switch to turn the satellite dish that's on the roof on and it'll track as you go down the road that's pretty cool that is awesome there's the the, the little cubby holes right here do you have like flat surfaces so if you want to put like spices in here or you know just something small right here and there's a ton of different outlets places there's ones on these ends um there's ones on that end too which i know i keep jumping back and forth i want to show you because i forgot over here a smoke and carbon monoxide monoxide thank you <laughs> This is for the fan. There's actually an overhead fan up in this corner. And then, so there's a window here and right behind it too. And there's even cup holders over here too. There's even a little thing over here too. So if your bed's down, you're laying down and you wanna put something in here. And these, if I remember right, <laughs> they go back pretty far. <laughs> They're, and they have two shelves in them too, which is awesome. I usually use that seatbelt right in the middle. Okay. Yep, that's all right. How is it? That actually feels nice. Nice matches. Feel that sucker. We, we go into places to shop and he has to touch it like this. Feel <laughs> it. Ooh, here. Hold this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah! Oh. Where do you guys get your mattresses again? <laughs> OTR mattress company. Oh. I feel like a cat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I like it. I like it a lot, dang it. Um, so when this is down, I'm just gonna sit down while I'm going doing this part. So when this is down, you have your window, you have your outlets over here. So just depending on, you might want to have your head be on this side though, so that you can watch the TV, which I haven't even gone over the TV yet. Um, is this the one where it's stationary? Does it pull out? No, it will pull out. Yep. Okay. Does it have the thing where you pull down? It does. Okay. So it'll usually have, is it like a little chain? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Look at that. This one doesn't have a chain, but it nice. does pull out. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, if you guys are stopped, then you can pull it out. I probably wouldn't do it when you're going down the road just because it, you know, um, but you can pull it out if you want to sit back and relax, you know, if you guys are doing your reset or anything like that, which is awesome. And like I said, he has the direct TV, um, which that is just great. <laughs> That's definitely a good plus. So you have everything that you need while you're sitting and laying in the, man, you're, 
your fridge is right here, so you could literally oh, be laying down and be like, I need a pop, or... Yep, I'm gonna take it from right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Okay, so if you decide to go with the option, like, once your, your bed is down and everything, if you wanted to keep it this way, completely up to you. If you wanted to do it so that you could utilize the space underneath. I know a lot of, um, there are some trackers out there who like to really stock up on their their water and, you know, drinks and that kind of stuff, and I know a lot of them put them underneath the bed. Um, so look at all that space you get underneath the bed, which is great. If you are going to use like the table and stuff, it's going to be at your feet. So unless you kind of want to, if one person's sitting there, you can kind of push it to one side if you wanted to still use it, you know, so. Where's the s bar heater vent coming out? Oh, because you wouldn't want to put. Okay. So you want to be careful though, because um, you have to make sure you know where the heater is in this this area so this one's actually coming right here and it does have um, a thing over it so you can kind of direct it so you want to put it so it's pointing this way so if you do have drinks under here they're not like heated up or anything like that so well, you don't want to melt the bottles and it's good to keep those vents not, not blocked not locked yeah yep all right Vanna. and <laughs> it's really cool that it's magnetic um, because I know a lot of people um, have a really hard time falling asleep in a moving truck when somebody else is driving so any little thing is going to add to waking you up and stuff and so if there was velcro on it man you'd have to be like <laughs> you know like move so slow so you don't you know wake Let's the other person up go ahead shut then we'll turn off the light Awesome. <laughs> so another thing which is really cool about these trucks uh, in um, in Patrick's fleet is that it has a rooftop AC, which is different from um, different trucks will have different ACs where it's not a rooftop. And the benefit of the rooftop one is that it actually helps circulate um, the air conditioning and it keeps it a lot cooler um, in the truck and everything. So all of his his trucks actually have an, uh, a rooftop AC. Um, so the AC buttons were down here, so there's for that. And then if you're looking for the fan, there's a fan up here. So a vent, you mean? Uh, it's a fan. Vent fan. Vent fan ish. Okay, and then <laughs> I'm gonna sound the nice comfy bed again. Um, and then the remote for the fan and everything is right over here, right beside the bed. So you don't even have to get up if you have that thing open though. If you are interested in doing what we do and driving one of these trucks for a living, reach out to Hyper.